So let's use it uh, like this. So I'll give you to hold this and you're gonna get it in a second here. Sorry, it was the uh, camera. Perfect, okay. So Kevin has a house. Kevin, you know, maybe he's um, he's been there for uh, 25 years and he's like, listen, I gotta go. I I'm going to live in Florida because he's at financial stage number five. So I'm talking with Kevin, I'm chatting up, say, hey man, listen, I wanna buy your house for let's say $100,000. And Kevin agrees, Kevin's like, great price, get price. So I take that and we sign a contract together. So now Kevin and I have a contract. This is the contract for the house. Kevin still has the keys, okay? But this is a contract. Now, Cameron's a real estate investor and he wants to get involved in real estate. So me and Cameron are chatting. I'm like, hey, listen, I got this contract for a house. It's gonna be $110,000. Does that work for you? Cameron's super excited. He's got a house at a discount and he didn't have to do all the work to find it. So what I do is I sell him this contract. So that's for you. So let's do the math nice and quick because I kept it easy so we could all follow. I bought it. I got the property under contract for 100 and I wholesaled it to Cameron for 110. So now I stand in the middle with $10,000 as a spread. And you do that one, two, three, four times a year. Before you know it, you have a lot of capital stacked up that you can start investing into some more buy and hold real estate. 